So I thought I'd just give you an example here of how I'm controlling the animation in the corner with the with the wheel. So you can see as I as I'm driving, Roscoe's doing his best to keep it all under control. This is me overshooting the line. You can see as I come up to this next turn, it'll be the animation will clip at a certain degree. See that it doesn't go beyond the 30 degrees on either side. So this just sets up the scope for the animation. All right, so let's take a look at what's actually going to happen here. So within SimHub, you, this is going to be our, you know, our dash or whatever it's called. What is it called? Overlay. There you go. So you go to the edit dashboard for an overlay, you know, and I just basically copied uh, some, a snippet from, you know, an existing one that had input uh, telemetry already, and then just plopped in an image. And in the, the key to this is that what you have is an image that is a film strip and I'll show you the film strip uh, separately but when you load it in it's basically just one series of images and then what happens is the animation is driven by a script and uh, I'll have to blow this up after the script basically just translates the image in a fixed way uh, so that instead of getting because if you just use this property to translate uh, like you would get with like you know a linear uh, bra um, rotation feedback it's gonna it's gonna slide up and down you're not gonna get these steps so what you want to do is actually create the stepping motion by by with a script and so what I'm doing is I'm dividing the height of the image or the, the amount of steps by the rotation angle. So you've got, you know, minus 30 degrees and 30 degrees. And I'm just, what I'm doing here is I'm just clipping that because I, I don't have images for beyond those. And then I'm dividing the total step value, which is 60 degrees by 17, which is the amount of images. And then, and then, Basically, the image index is, you know, zero is your first image, one is your next, two, so on and so on. And so it's going to step through those, and it's going to make the vertical offset step by that amount, which is 400. The image height is 400. So you could see that in the in the uh, sim hub options there. And so what happens is you take your image height and you drive your image index from this rounded um, input angle divided by the step value. And then you have to multiply it by negative one because it's not offsetting vertically uh, in the positive, it's doing negative. So then, and then here, this is just a clamp for, I think I miscalculated up there. So it's just kind of a bit of a hack. So, and then you return the vertical offset, which is, which is what I've set this uh, uh, variable for the, 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 the thing. So, and that's pretty much it. It's not very complicated. You're literally just saying, I have all these images and I just want to jump this amount. And that's what the script does. In a really simple example, um, I have a brake light indicator. I got some new pedals. Um, and I have this little brake light indicator that comes on when I'm pressing the, the brake because I, I want to make sure that, you know, if I'm touching the brake really slightly, I want to make sure that I have some sort of big, uh, you know, warning that I'm doing that because I've been tweaking my, my wheel value. 
so I just basically took one of the preset LEDs. Um, maybe this is a better example for people who are just coming to this. And so I said, you know, if if the you know break, this is the standard break input value. If it's over zero, and then if it's under say twenty five or whatever, return zero. So that's going to say it's going to return zero means the translation is not going to, um, you know, it, it's 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 not going to translate, which means that it's not going to move this away. It's not going to hide it basically. So, and then else return thirty six, which means most of the time, if you're not well, if you're not on the break, it's going to be basically else the situation. So it's going to move this. 36 down um, or and then so you're not going to be actually seeing it so what happens is when you're pressing the brake it's going to be defaulting to this situation so then you're going to see this pop up so that's a really simple way to utilize the animation kind of stepping function um, it's the exact same principle as what I did with the Roscoe driving um, but maybe a little bit easier to understand how this expression is driven.